Oh, that's, was that more pain for us? Yeah, what? Sweet. Right, I'm pretty much nearly full health now. That's good. You kind of get used to the alarm sound, but... No. Oh my god! Fucking die! Freaking hell! Well, at least it's a save point now, so we can be bullshitted some more from this save point. Sweet. That's pretty cool. Hold it. Jesus. You almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, we're glad to see you. What the hell's going on? He's walking like there a shy punk. here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery, a tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old school. This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? Oh, God. You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex? Game over! No bed, come back here. There was nothing Just shot my do. bald friend. He was dead. I could tell by the empty accusing stare of his eyes. Oh, right, okay. Oh! Oh, I'm failing at this. Fucking nearly dead again. Oh, yes. Teaches you a lesson, fool. Yes, some more. Always handy. Always handy. Let's see what's around here. Nothing. Right, okay. Max Payne is a beast. He thinks he can get all the women. He probably can, because he's cool in his leather jacket. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Oh Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. It's got a really long face. I'm saying that, but obviously he's going to have a long face. He's just lost his wife, best friend, Lupino and daughter. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. Lupino. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with sharks. Oh. The Finito brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Pain to the max. You're killing me. If you make that up yourselves, you get some wine on downstairs to come up with it. Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk swap plant. But don't answer. It's where I'm uh, Oracle questions. Lupino ain't here, but he said bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. Oh, God. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bolts like raindrops. Pain in 
up butt. Ha <laughs> ha, paint to the max. Don't squat me. Gotta take your barber shitty for you. Feet first and lying down. We did it. You, have you really just fingered that? Right, shove you, bitches. I was going to be cool about it, but you know, freaking hell, look at that head. A letter on the desk caught my eye. I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right hand man, Vinny Gagnetti. Gagnetti was a high strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart. Like an overamped energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. Uh. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words. Quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one. Unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's going to get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up, or you're finito, finitos. Ah, oh, right. A V deal meant added security. Locked doors, lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Souza. A spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine, man. Joey, Vigilio, you all right in there? They're not answering. Call the others. Shit. Come, come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now. Forces, we're coming in. It's pain. Come on. Oh, oh, we're safe. Oh. Well, I can open things. Ah, uh -huh. bottles. Ah, <laughs> sweet. That's pretty cool. All right, let's get going. Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked, and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. Fuck. I love bed. Oh! Ha ha ha. Um. This might end. In his press conference today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA special agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max. All right. Yeah. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Fuck. <laughs> We're dead. Can you watch TV? Oh, you can. Not much about it, like, but... God, it takes a long time to freaking move. It really does. I'm not, I can't get used to it. Right, stop moving. Where do I go? I can't go anywhere. I said jump out the freaking window. Yes, I'm jumping out the window. Yeah, something's wrong with the bosses. Pain's there and they're not answering. Let's go already. Oh my god. I didn't realize there was like four of them. Now. Playing it bug out. The way everything looks reminds me of Spider Man as well, actually. I don't know why.
Oh. Oh. Mustn't have had, mustn't have any more money. Oh well. Yo. Yo. Don't know whether you were a bad guy or not, but <laughs> probably going in there to get his gun. Previously on Lords and Ladies, Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, what? an all-new episode of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. Oh. oh. Piss off. My lady. My lady. My lord. Oh. The end junkies could go off without a warning. They had to be careful. Oh. <laughs> Guy looks weird. This must not be. But why, my love? Why? My lord. Shit. My lord, I am my lord, I am your long lost sister. What <laughs> you listening to this? Now I've dived in that thing. Exit. Oh shit, can I, can I break the lock? Yeah! And you're still alive. 